So who makes perfume? Give me, give me some names. I'll ask each one of you to give me a name of a perfume company that you know. Yeah? So I'll start with you because you're, you're fresh. Yeah? You're not... Christian Dior, okay, yeah, fine. Christian Dior. You want the brand name or the company next to you? Tell me, wherever, wherever you like. Yeah, that's the purpose of the exercise, actually. <laughs> okay. Chanel, yeah, I'm going to put Chanel over here. Sorry? Takasago. Okay, so now I'm going to start over on this board for Takasago. I need at least 20 names. Olgari. Is he Miyaki? Sorry? Giorgio Armani. Armani, yeah. Givaudan. Thank you. <laughs> Quest. Quest is formally. Yeah, I, I mentioned that. Yeah. Biolands. Uh, yeah, slightly differently. These are over here. This is the first time there's a fourth group. Normally there's only three groups. There's a fourth group here. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we get a few more names. Hugo Boss. Gucci. Madame Rochas. Sorry? I don't know where to put them. Probably yeah, probably there, but <laughs> Akakaba. A double C A. Akaaba. Oh. Davidoff. Fermanish. Fermanish. Can we get a song? Brody. Brody. <laughs> Brody. Brody. Bromley. 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 Yeah. Bromley. I don't know. Okay. Brody. Brody, okay. Joe Malone? Joe Malone? Mm, I'm not sure where to put Joe Malone. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I think I think that's no, I think that's wrong. I think it should be over here. YSL, yeah. Yves Saint Laurent, Paris. Estee Lauder. This side's getting a bit full. Can we think of some for the other side? <laughs> Sorry? Roberto. Goldfield. 
I wonder when some of these would come up for Goldfield. <laughs> Kelka, Goldfield. Does it have an R on the end? Kelka. Yeah. 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 Big in India. Yeah. Sorry. Memphis. Raggy fur? <laughs> Simrise. CPL, Contemporary Perfumers Limited. Belmar? Gallimar. Uh, yeah. Do they do their own perfumes? Yes. Galan. Molliard. Helen Herrera. Anybody know what's happening with these groups? I do think it can be made from a lot of the same people. Okay. They use a poop, a poop in a, and a, they don't actually make a bride. Yeah. There's a lot of the clothing manufacturers. Yeah. So all of these are basically marketing companies who distribute perfume, yeah? And they don't really make perfume, yeah? So they don't make perfume. These are the older houses, Hermes, who actually create their own perfumes. They blend their own perfumes, they put them into bottles, and they sell them. Yeah? So these, there are very few of these companies left. I actually worked for the very last company in the UK that created its own perfumes, bottled them, marketed them, distributed them. Pico Laboratories disappeared because they were bought out eventually by Beecham's. Beecham said the business was so small, took the one, the one main selling perfume, Pagan, and, or two, it's a range, Pagan and Pagan Man, and put them into Lontherick, who they also own. Yeah, and the name Pico disappeared, yeah, overnight. And, that, and so they no longer make perfume. The perfume Pagan and Pagan Man is made by Givadan, yeah, for them. Yeah. <coughs> So most companies are going this way. These are the companies that make perfume. Yeah? And for those of you in the industry, yeah, you've heard of these names. For those of you out of the industry, who are they? Yeah? The biggest company in the world is uh, Givadan, maybe number one. Thermonic, probably number two. IFF, oh, Simrise, number three. Kakasago or IFF, I'm not sure, probably IFF, four, five, something like that. So these are the companies that make the bulk of perfume. So which is the most famous place in the world for perfume? India. Sorry, India, yeah? Big, a big powerhouse of, of perfume, yeah? France, France is, yeah, the south of France. Most people think that all the biggest companies must come from the south of France, but they don't, yeah? There are two companies near the top ten, Roberte and Manfi. These are the two French companies. Kakasago, Japan, IFF, US, Givadan, Switzerland. The reason that I put Quest in brackets there, the Givadan wasn't the number one company, and then they bought the number one company, which was Quest, an English company. Yeah? and that made them number one. Um, Fermanic, Swiss, uh, Simrise, Germany. Yeah. CPO is quite, quite um, strong actually in this, uh, this region. Yeah, it's an English company. They have their, their factory as a stately home. Yeah. Barrington Hall, in its own 
fields, you know, something like it's something out of a movie. But, uh, yeah. but why did I put bio lands over here? Bio lands actually don't do perfume compounds, yeah. But what they are very very strong at is essential oils, uh, extracts. So they're the biggest of suppliers, probably the biggest in the world for essential oils, uh, because they've they've bought out many of the old companies. It's a fairly, fairly new company, about 20, 20 years old, something, something like that. But they've bought out many of the old 100-year, 150-year-old companies in grass. So they've become uh, very, very strong. Biolands in grass. Grass, yeah, in south of France. But they, they have plantations in uh, Turkey, Bulgaria, yeah, all over. Morocco. Because they're only doing essential oils, so these are the raw materials for these these people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. This this is the one of the strange things about the perfume industry, is that IFF have a range of materials that they make by themselves, but they can't make all the materials they need. So they have to buy from Givadan, and then Givadan have to buy from Fermanic. Well, it's it's very incestuous, this business. We're we're all, we're all buying from each other, yeah, and, and trying to sell back to each other. You know, one of one of my biggest highs. It wasn't a big quantity, but I could actually sell a compound to IFF. <laughs> so it's like we, <laughs> IFF buying perfume from me. You know, and it's like it gives you a big big kick but they they can't make all the materials they need so when we look at perfume materials that are available in the perfumers workbook the professional edition we have 10,000 materials listed you're lucky if one company can manage to make um, a hundred yeah I think Givadan maybe have 400 that they manufacture but they're the biggest in the world but most companies have a few, a few oils or a few chemicals that they produce well, and they become strong in those, and so they buy from each other. Was there a question? Yes, please, yeah. When you say that these companies manufacture fragrances, yes. so can you say that they all, I mean, is, is it the same as manufacturing fine chemicals and fragrances, or is that a completely different thing? What fine fragrances and fine chemicals? Well, uh, because they do both, yeah. Because, for example, we, we buy from Givadan some materials, yeah, because their, their quality is, is very good for those materials. Um, but then we buy other materials from IFF, and then we buy other materials from Fermanic. Substitute. They, well, they make they make the raw materials for fragrance, the aroma chemicals, the essential oils, yeah. But they also do finished fragrance, and their main business is finished fragrance. Yeah. 